Good evening. My name is Peter. My name is Aneka. And I'm here on Michael. And it's Raro. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Yes. Oh, yes. So you can see. I left it. Sure. Please uh, sit here. Thank you very much. So, um, mm -hmm. we're, so, I'm so we're going to um, conduct an interview. They're going to ask, just basically it's conversational. It's going to go on the network. And just um, talking about your candidacy and uh, the questions that are on there. And, uh, and we'll just take it from there. And, Get you in and out as quickly as possible. The camera guys will mic you up, mm -hmm. and then we'll take it from there. Great. Good to see you again, sir. Welcome over the microphone. Thank you for assuming that I'm going to be elected. <laughs> and what do I do from day one? And thank you sincerely for inviting me and for this um, opportunity. For me, from the one, I'll go straight to tackling the issue of insecurity. It's the number one priority. Insecurity. Now you're talking about four years, so it's not the one. Yeah. I'm going to make sure that everything I promise is tackled simultaneously. Okay. And the promise is that, again, is insecurity, dealing with issue of rule of law and law and order, since okay. the government, you know, bring stability mm -hmm. in the polity, uniting the country, mm -hmm. ensuring that it is, it is transparent and visible good governance, fighting areas of corruption, yeah. which will be visible and transparent, and people will see it. In every other nation, we're not, what we're going through now and have happened in other nations, mm -hmm. what it requires is just leadership. If we have a competent leadership with character and capacity, you start trying to pull the country out of all this. There's nothing difficult in saying, hey, today we're generating 4,000 megawatts of electricity, that we're going to move it in four years, in five years, from 4,000 to at least 10,000. It was the rocket science. We'll do it, people will see it, people will feel it. What it means inclusiveness, what do you have for me, it is about, I said it before, about competence and capability as governor of the state of one of the states in Nigeria, mm -hmm. I had, for example, more women working for me than men. Okay. Because they were competent. Right. So it's not a question of, it's not, it's not something that you're entitled to. Right. You know, it's, it's not an entitlement. Right. It is the question of, are you qualified? Absolutely. You know, it's a, we have to be qualified to work because I need to engage and work with people who are qualified to work competent, who have the capacity right. to do the job they're given, not just because I want to balance everything. Uh, right? No, no, no. There's no balance in this time because we're, there, we're, we're running against time. Mm -hmm. Our greatest assets, one of our economic mean assets, in terms of physical assets today, is the land we have. You know? So we have vast land, physical assets, which we can invest in, not oil. The land can give, if we, if we manage it more effectively, it can give us more money than oil. But today we're dependent on oil. It means if oil is not safe in Venezuela, we have 10 times more oil, oil reserve than we have. It won't save us. I'm not worried about brain drain. Mm -hmm. They'll be brain gain. Because they're going to come back. When we fix the place, you will be the first investors who will tell you what that we're going to do well now. Right. Because same thing has happened everywhere in the world. It is those who left Asian countries that went back and turned it around. Mm -hmm. So you are going to come back and turn it around when we bring stability, secure the place, 
ensure that we entrench rule of law and all that, you are you come back. So it's a gain for us. Well, I don't think there is, except maybe people will say we don't have structures, you know. But for me, that is what we want to destroy. We want to dismantle the structure because the structures are there to say are structural criminality, structural corruption, structural inefficiency, structural ineffectiveness. These are things we want to remove and bring in a movement that wants to take back the country. Give it to the people. Not just Nigeria that spends more than years. Mm -hmm. a, lot, a lot of other countries do the same thing. Okay. A lot of other countries are boring. Right. United States today owes about 80% of its GDP in debt. Mm -hmm. So everybody is boring. Right. Everybody is spending more. Okay. There's nothing wrong in spending more than you earn. There's nothing wrong in borrowing. It is what you do with the borrowing that makes the difference. Mm. If you borrow for investment, you will grow. I just told you, ICT, entertainment, sports, small businesses. Okay, those different, different ones, industries. That's what drives everyone. If you shut it down in America, there will be more criminality in America than there is in America. They will be shooting each other on the street because there are more guns there on the street than we have. I can assure you. So the youth have energy, and you need to put them to work. Maybe 10 minutes to Howard. Yeah. Depending on traffic. Please, he's a Howard. Tell them to climb in. Oh, Howard. We're coming down. That's the bison. One of them is those. Noor TV, showing on Verizon Vios Channel 269, Optimum Channel 1100, and on Digicel. Or on our website, www.nortv.com, or download the app from the App Store or Play Store.